Hello, my name is Tu Bui. I'm a pharmacy candidate, class of 2021. In this video today, I will be talking about the medications named Candesartan. One of its brand name is Otacan. I will be going over some of the patient counseling points, class and indication for the drugs, mechanism of actions, formulation and administrations, dosing, adverse events and drug interactions, warnings, and some monitoring parameters. So let's begin with some counseling points. Candesartan is used to treat high blood pressure and patients with heart failures. It's usually dosing once a day, and patients can take this drug with or without food. Take this medication at the same time of the day. Take a missed dose as soon as you remember. If it's close to the next scheduled dose, skip the missed dose and go back to the normal time. Store this medication at the room temperature in a dry, safe place and away from the children. Candesartan is a very well-tolerated medication in general. However, there are still some of the common side effects that patients may experience. They include dizziness, back pain, flu-like symptoms, sore throat, and stuffy nose. Patients should contact the doctor immediately if they're experiencing any signs of an allergic reactions like rash, hives, or shortness of breath, any signs of kidney problems such as unable to pass urine or blood in the urine or any signs of high potassium level in the body, for example, irregular heartbeat, feeling fatigue, or lightheaded. Chondrosartan belongs to the class of angiotensin II receptor blockers. Major indications for these drugs are hypotension and heart failures with reduced ejection fractions. Some of the off-label use includes non-nasty elevation, acute coronary syndrome, patient with proteinuric chronic kidney disease, an ST elevation myocardial infarction. Canisarin is the receptor antagonist that block type 1 angiotensin 2 or AT1 receptors on blood vessels and other tissues such as the heart. These receptors are coupled to the signal transduction pathway that stimulates vascular smooth muscle contraction. As a result, Carnosarin promotes renal excretion of sodium and water by blocking the effects of angiotensin II in the kidney and by blocking angiotensin II stimulation of aldosterone secretion. It also dilates arteries and veins and thereby reduces arterial pressure and preload and afterload on the heart. This medication comes as a tablet oral form. The strengths are available in 4 mg, 8 mg, 16 mg and 32 mg. The recommended initial dose and usual maintenance dose for canisterin is 8 mg once daily for hypertension. Most of the antihypertensive effect is attained within 4 weeks. In some patients whose blood pressure is not adequately controlled, the dose can be increased to 16 mg once daily and to a maximum of 32 mg once daily. Patients with heart failure reduce ejection fraction they can be given canisterin an initial dose of 4 to 8 mg by mouth once a day and can be titrated right up to the target dose of 32 mg by mouth once daily. For the indication of either protein uric chronic kidney disease or acute coronary syndrome, canisterin can be started at 8 mg by mouth once daily to the target dose of 32 mg by mouth once a day. In addition, patients with renal impairment or myohepatic impairment, no initial dose adjustment necessary. Patient with child pooch class B or moderate hepatic impairment, initial dose is 8 mg a day in adult patients with hypertension. In child pooch class C or severe impairment, no dosage adjustment provided in the manufacturer labeling. Some of the adverse reactions of candesarin are angioedema, hypoglycemia, hyperkalemia, hypertriglyceridemia, hyperuricemia, dyspepsia, dyspnea, and increased in serum creatinine. Drug interaction may change how the medication works or increase the risk for serious side effects. Some products have ingredients that could raise the blood pressure or even worsen the heart failure conditions. One of them is NSAID, such as ibuprofen or naproxen. Some other products that may interact with candesarin such as aliskirin, lithium, 
drugs that may increase the level of potassium in the blood, including ACE inhibitor like benazepril or lisinopril. One of the most important contraindications of these drugs is angioedema related to previous treatment with ARP. However, if patients experience angioedema with ACE inhibitor in the past, they can receive ARP six weeks after ACE inhibitor is stopped. Another contraindication is do not use with ACE inhibitor or direct RNA inhibitor simultaneously. Some of the precautions for these drugs are aortic mitral stenosis, bilateral renal artery stenosis, using for black patients, and pregnancy. Patients taking canisterin should have their blood pressure routinely measured to assess for adequate blood pressure response to the medication. Hyperkalemia and impaired renal function can occur with canisterin use. Therefore, serum potassium and renal function such as serum creatinine, BUN level, urinalysis should receive periodic monitoring. Patients should also be monitored for their heart rate while they on canisterin.